Now we're going to discuss the overview of this book. This book contains roughly three parts. The first 12 chapters discuss the JavaScript language. The next seven chapters are about web browsers and the way JavaScript is used to program them. Finally, two chapters are devoted to Node.js, another environment to program JavaScript in. Throughout the book, there are five project chapters, which describe larger example programs to give you a taste of actual programming. In order of appearance, we will work through building a delivery robot, a programming language, a platform game, a pixel paint program, and a dynamic website. The language part of this book starts with four chapters that introduce the basic structure of the JavaScript language. They introduce control structures, such as the while word you saw in this introduction, functions, writing your own building blocks, and data structures. After these, you will be able to write basic programs. And to be sure, that's pretty much all we're going to do during this introductory uh, set of tutorials. I am picturing that eventually I will continue on after that, so let's continue. Uh, next, chapters 5 and 6 introduce techniques to use functions and objects to write more abstract code and keep complexity under control. After a first project chapter, the language part of the book continues with chapters on error handling and bug fixing, regular expressions, an important tool for working with text, modularity, another defense against complexity, and asynchronous programming, dealing with events that take time. The second project chapter concludes the first part of the book. The second part, chapters 13 to 19, describe the tools that browser JavaScript has access to. You'll learn to display things on the screen, chapters 14 and 17, respond to user input, chapter 15, and communicate over the network, chapter 18. There are again two project chapters in this part. After that, chapter 20 describes Node.js, and chapter 21 builds a small website using that tool. In the next section, we'll wrap up this uh, chapter, or this introduction chapter, with typographic conventions. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.